sofa. A comfortable seat for more than one person. The blue sofa fits perfectly in our living room. Coffee table. A low table usually placed in front of a sofa. Please put your cup on the coffee table. Armchair. A comfortable chair with side supports for a person's arms. Grandpa likes to read in his cozy armchair. Bookshelf. Furniture with horizontal shelves for keeping books. The bookshelf is filled with classic literature. Curtain. A piece of cloth hung to cover a window. She drew the curtains to let light in. Carpet. A floor covering made from thick woven fabric. The red carpet adds warmth to the room. Television. An electronic device for watching programs. We watched the game on the new television. Remote control. A device used to operate electronic equipment from a distance. Can you pass the remote control, please? Lamp. A device for giving light. I turned on the lamp to read my book. I. A. Cushion. A soft bag filled with air or padding. The cushions on the sofa are very colorful. Fireplace. A place for a domestic fire. The fireplace is the focal point of our living room. Mantelpiece. A structure of wood, marble, or stone above and around a fireplace. Family photos are displayed on the mantelpiece. Vase. An open container, often used to hold flowers. The vase of flowers brightened up the room. Painting. A picture made with paint. The painting above the fireplace is stunning. Clock. A device for telling the time. The clock on the wall is an antique. Mirror. A reflective surface, typically glass coated with a metal amalgam. The large mirror makes our living room look bigger. Point 6. Ottoman. A piece of furniture like a large box with a seat on top. She put her feet up on the ottoman after a long day. Shelf. A flat piece of wood for holding items. The shelf holds various knick-knacks and picture frames. Speaker. An apparatus that converts electrical impulses into sound. The speakers are set up for the best surround sound experience. Magazine rack. A holder for storing magazines and newspapers. The magazine rack is made of wrought iron. End table. A small table placed at the end of a sofa or beside a chair. I placed my drink on the end table next to the sofa. Blinds. A window covering made of a series of slats that can be adjusted for light and visibility. We closed the blinds to prevent the sun from glaring on the TV. Ceiling fan. A mechanical fan mounted on the ceiling. The ceiling fan was on high to cool the room. Row blanket. A small blanket that can be thrown over a sofa or chair. 
she snuggled under a throw blanket while watching a movie. Wall decor. Decorative elements hung on the wall. The wall decor includes both paintings and mirrors. Floor lamp. A tall lamp designed to stand on the floor. The floor lamp provides perfect lighting for reading. Sectional. A type of sofa composed of multiple sections. The sectional sofa can seat the whole family comfortably. Recliner. A chair that leans back when the occupant lowers the chair's back and raises its front. He fell asleep in the recliner with the footrest up. Side table. A small table placed beside a piece of furniture. The side table holds a lamp and a stack of books. Drapes. Curtains that are made of heavy fabric. The heavy drapes blocked out the morning sun. Console. A flat surface for holding electronics or decorative items. The TV console also has storage for games and controllers. Picture frame. A decorative edging for a picture. The picture frame is made of beautifully carved wood. Coaster. A small mat for a glass or bottle to protect the surface of a table. Please use a coaster to avoid ring marks on the table. Rug. A small carpet that covers part of a floor. The Persian rug adds an exotic touch to the living room. Love seat. A small sofa for two people. The couple cuddled up on the love seat. Poof. A soft, cushioned stool. She used the poof as a footrest. Chandelier. A decorative hanging light with branches for several light bulbs or candles. The crystal chandelier is the centerpiece of the room. Sconce. A light fixture attached to a wall. The sconces on the wall gave off a soft glow. Media center. Furniture designed to house electronic devices and media. The media center was filled with movies and video games. Bookend. An object placed at the end of a row of books to hold them upright. The marble bookends were heavy enough to support the books. 09J. Beanbag. A soft, round chair filled with small pellets. The kids love to flop into the beanbag chairs. Credenza. A sideboard or cupboard in the dining area. The dishes and silverware are kept in the credenza. Tchotchke. A small decorative object or trinket. Grandma's shelves are filled with tchotchkes. Sete. A long upholstered seat for more than one person. The sete in the bay window is a cozy reading spot. Knick knack shelf. A small shelf for displaying decorative objects. She arranged her collectibles on the knick knack shelf. Footstool. A low stool for resting one's feet. He put his feet up on the footstool after a long day. Tapestry. 
A thick textile fabric with pictures or designs. A medieval tapestry hung on the wall for decoration. Nesting tables. A set of small tables that fit one underneath another. She pulled out the nesting tables to hold snacks during the party. Slipcover. A removable fabric cover for furniture. We put a slipcover on the sofa to protect it. Magazine holder. A container for storing magazines. The magazine holder by the armchair was made of leather. Plant stand. A small table or stand for holding a plant pot. A fern on the plant stand added a touch of green to the room. Room divider. A screen or piece of furniture placed so as to divide a room into separate areas. They used a room divider to create a small study area. Futon. A mattress on a frame that can be folded into a seat. The futon can be unfolded to make a bed for guests. Window seat. A bench built into a window recess. The window seat was the perfect spot to enjoy the view. Display cabinet. A cabinet with glass doors and shelves for displaying items. The display cabinet held an assortment of crystal glasses. Filing cabinet. A piece of office furniture used to file documents. The filing cabinet contained important household papers. Rocking chair. A chair that rocks back and forth. Grandma enjoys sitting in her rocking chair and knitting. Wall clock. A clock mounted on the wall. The wall clock chimed every hour on the hour. CD rack. A rack designed to hold compact discs. The CD rack was filled with an assortment of music. DVD player. A device that plays DVDs. We watched a movie on the DVD player last night. Sideboard. A piece of furniture used to store linens and serving dishes. The sideboard in the dining area is filled with tablecloths and napkins. Mantle clock. A clock designed to be placed on a mantelpiece. An antique mantle clock ticks away in the living room. Humidifier. A device that adds moisture to the air. We use a humidifier in the living room to help with the dry air. Air purifier. A device that removes contaminants from the air. The air purifier has helped with my allergies. Picture rail. A molding on the wall from which pictures can be hung. We hung the family portraits from the picture rail. Wallpaper. Decorative paper for the walls of a room. The floral wallpaper adds a vintage charm to the living room. Folding screen. A screen composed of several panels that fold. We used a folding screen to hide the exercise equipment. High boy. A tall chest of drawers. She stores her vintage clothes in the high boy.
Blowboy. A low chest of drawers, often with a mirror. The low boy in the hallway holds linens and candles. Pedestal table. A table supported by a single central column. A vase of fresh flowers sat atop the pedestal table. Sofa bed. A sofa that can be unfolded into a bed. The sofa bed is convenient for overnight guests. Row rug. A small rug that can be easily moved. I placed a throw rug by the fireplace for extra coziness. Valet stand. A stand for holding clothes and accessories. His suit for tomorrow is already set out on the valet stand. Wall tapestry. A heavy textile hung on the wall as decoration. A large wall tapestry brought color and texture to the room. Window blinds. A window covering with horizontal slats that can be adjusted. The window blinds were tilted to let light in but keep privacy. Wine rack. A rack for storing bottles of wine. The wine rack is stocked with a selection of reds and whites. Ottoman tray. A tray used on top of an ottoman for holding items. She placed an ottoman tray with drinks on the soft surface. Poof. A broad, backless, cushioned seat. The children love to sit on the colorful poof in the corner. Electric fireplace. A heater that simulates a fireplace with electric logs. The electric fireplace adds warmth without the need for wood. Stereo system. A set of equipment for playing music. The stereo system was playing soft jazz throughout the evening. Barrister bookcase. A bookcase with glass doors. The barrister bookcase keeps the dust off the old law books. Beanbag chair. A soft chair filled with small beans or pellets. The teenager's room has a beanbag chair for lounging. Bureau. A chest of drawers. She keeps her clothing organized in the mahogany bureau. Shay's lounge. A long reclining chair. She was reading a novel on the chaise lounge by the window. Chesterfield. A large sofa with rolled arms that are the same height as the back. The leather Chesterfield dominated the library. China cabinet. A cabinet with glass doors used to display china. The china cabinet held her grandmother's fine bone china. Corner cabinet. A cabinet designed to fit in a corner. A corner cabinet is a great space saver in a small living room. Daybed. A couch that can be used as a bed. The daybed in the office doubles as a guest bed. Deck chair. A folding chair used on a deck or patio. He unfolded a deck chair to sit in the sun. Van. A long low sofa without a back or arms. She draped a fabric over the divan to add some color. Etagere. A piece of furniture with open shelves for displaying small objects. An etagere stood in the corner filled with glass figurines. 
Guan. Grandfather clock. A tall, freestanding, weight-driven pendulum clock. The grandfather clock chimed every half hour. Hall tree. A piece of furniture with hooks and storage for outerwear. They hung their coats on the hall tree in the entryway. Asic. A thick, firm cushion used as a footstool. He propped his feet on the hassock while reading. Hope chest. A storage chest traditionally used by unmarried young women to collect items for their future home. She received a hope chest for her 16th birthday. Hutch. A set of shelves or cabinets placed on top of a lower unit with a counter. The kitchen hutch was filled with cookbooks and jars. Ladder back chair. A chair with horizontal slats or spindles between two upright posts. The ladder back chairs were part of the rustic dining set. Magazine table. A small table with space for storing magazines. The magazine table was a convenient place to keep current reads. Nest of tables. A set of small tables that slide one beneath another. She used the nest of tables to hold snacks during the party. Parlor chair. A chair used in a living room or parlor. The Victorian parlor chair 